to my buddy that let me borrow the x mark because my hustler decided to snap a caster off the front uh brand new hustler year old well a year and a half under 200 hours like literally just barely under and i got the i got the hustler let's talk about the hustler real quick i got it and right off the jump i was like man this thing cuts really clean i had a kubota zd 1211 before that that i was happy with but it just got too many hours so i figured i'd upgrade and get something that's brand new it's gonna last because when i go to cut grass we all need our shit to work so anyway yesterday it snapped the caster about i don't know end of last year i noticed the x1 started cutting like scratch i mean it would leave stuff stuck up all over the place stripes nice you go over it twice probably not gonna have a problem who has time to go over the shit twice you cut grass you want to get out there get it done get on your next yard and get the hell home and get a paycheck just like everybody else so just loading loading the x mark up and i've ran x marks never anything this new never the red equipped immediately loading it up as soon as you get on the mower you're going to realize it has a parking brake which the hustlers don't bars out your parking brakes on this has a manual parking brake right here that you got to release um the red equip system which is super freaking nice uh, especially if you want to save fuel and keep an eye on your battery fuel hours it tells you all kinds of stuff um, also the deck system which i like here this is the unlock position if you leave this down you're never going to have the deck jump up and lock itself like these hustlers will if you hit a bump with this hustler this is going to come back it's going to hit this there's nothing here to lock it except for this pin that rests down there you hit a bump it jumps up your decks up you, you do a couple swipes and then you're like shit my decks up you got to turn around and get back over your stuff that'll never happen with the x mark um with my experience with x marks they cut way cleaner than these hustlers do um granted this is a super z mine's an x1 so this is a little bit nicer hustler unit than what i have however i think me and my buddy here are both under the impression that they're not worth pickles to nothing you might as well leave them right in the garage so we're gonna go bust the ass on this thing go cut a couple yards and uh we're basically going to compare them now granted this is a 66 inch deck with a bigger engine in it than this with a 72 has just by a few cc's this has a kawasaki in it that has a kohler so i mean we're gonna we're gonna go see what's up and we'll get back to you Loading, loading and unloading, you immediately notice for me versus my hustler, the X1, that the X mark is way more touchy. I mean, it's going to be a totally different world. It's easy to get used to. As soon as you spend 15, 20 minutes on that, you're going to be used to it. You're going to forget about how that thing ran. You're going to be used to this, at least for me, but you know, I don't know about for the next guy. So, we talked about the deck, um, talked about how that has more horsepower and a smaller deck than this. Uh, we're here on this, I don't know, 11 acre property. We got this giant field to cut out here that we only cut every two weeks. We cut the lane every week. Yesterday, when my hustler broke over there, 
I had my deck the whole way up, out there and it was bogging out, throwing clumps, um, wide open. So we're gonna see how this thing does. I'm gonna go out there to tackle the big part while he t starts tackling the lanes and going around some of these houses and obviously we're here Scratch. at the construction zone. So we got that to deal with. I'm really excited to try out this red equip that this thing has. You know, I know a lot of guys that run these X marks and they are just hell bent over this red equipped, having it in the eco mode because when you're cutting and you get into something thick, it'll raise the RPMs. And as soon as you come out of something thick, it lowers them back down. This mower, I can immediately tell torque and speed is way more than that or my X1. I've ran that as well. Um, I have a lot of experience on a lot of different brands. I used to run an X Mark all the time. I've never ran an X Series and I've never had ran anything with that's red equipped. So really excited about that. And um, other than that, this is a Kohler. That's a cow. I think I might have mentioned that earlier. But we're going to get to it and we'll, we'll let you guys know how it goes and we'll see what the results are. Yesterday, I was cutting out here with my X1 deck all the way up, which is what I did here on the first two passes. I'd say that the XMark cuts way cleaner. Now, you can sit there and you can say, well, that might be because of blades or more horsepower, or whatever. Brush. In my eyes, personally, that thing throws grass crazily. It spreads it phenomenally. It doesn't blow clumps. It spreads an even, an, a very nice, even, like broadcast if you will so i made two passes all the way up like i was yesterday i turned around i put it on five which is i don't know three quarters to an inch lower than all the way up and it made two more passes over here you can kind of see it may have missed a little bit more over here than it did over there thicker here immediately off the bat i'm honestly saying that this thing is way better than my x1 it's not because my x1 pissed me off I wish that my X1 was better than this because I own it and I want to get shit done. But it really seems like this X Mark is is gonna hold its value in gold, hold its weight in gold. If you want to cut grass, have it cut clean, have it cut nice. But we'll finish out the day and we'll let y'all know how it goes. This is Pete's first time on the X Series X Mark, so he's testing it out right now. I'm gonna see what he thinks. I guarantee he says it's way too touchy.
pretty clean. What do you think? Yeah, it's uh, completely different. <laughs> it just feels more sturdy. Like the ride's a little rough. I can say that, but that could just be the seat settings. I don't. I didn't mess with that. But it just the controls are right there. Like it's it's comparable to my Hustler, but it's a little bit better. It. I don't. I don't know how to explain. It. It's kind of. It feels like it sticks more. Yeah, it, it feels like it's, it's way more responsive. Yeah, responsive. And uh, I don't know. It, Cut quality? Seemed pretty good. I, I mean, from the little bit that I did, I, I was pretty pleased with it. Yep. I don't know. We'll see. Seems pretty good too for So, I just cut probably six acres of scratch. Almost knee high. Some of it was on five inches. I think the deck should have been up. It did get hot towards the end of it, so I stopped and let it idle for a minute, pulled the air filter off of it, checked it because it is my buddy's. And it does have 1400 hours on it, so kind of rather not blow his shit up with no warranty. Um, very, very impressed. It blew through that grass like it was nothing. The speed was there, it didn't bog out. If it felt like it was about the ball got and you wanted to go faster, you push the sticks and it was almost like the red equip idled it back up and it just, it buckled down and it just chewed through everything. So Pete got the right hand side of the lane finished up while I was out there doing the, um, the two week cut on the pasture area. And we're gonna go ahead and tackle the left and this little piece and then a little bit around the house uh, now together. So all in all, I gotta say, and you know, my X1 with a 72 is is underpowered, which, you know, plays into, I'm not trying to promote X Mark. I'm not trying to promote Hustler. I'm not trying to talk shit on one or the other. I want something that it gets the job done, that lasts, that's built with quality, that's comfortable. Comfortability, let's talk about this thing in the comfortability aspect. We just talk about stability and responsiveness. This thing seems more stable and responsive than my Hustler or his, as you just heard him say. Comfort, I feel like it's less bouncy. I really do, I maybe it's just because this thing might be wider, I don't know. The front, the front arms that hold the casters in are definitely angled a little bit differently. Maybe it has something to do with that. It's not hitting the bumps to where my skinnier X1 with the front casters are hitting, who knows. But it does feel more comfortable um, you got about the same level of where you're sitting in comparison to a hustler, but I'm not a guy that cuts grass every single day. I have a full-time job. Pete, the guy here with me behind the camera, he does every day. So, I mean, he's probably, you know, that's his, that's his full time. I probably cut 12 hours worth of grass a week between my yards, helping him and another friend. I'm not looking for, you know, the biggest, baddest, whatever the hell. You know, I want something that's gonna last, that's quality, that I'm getting my money's worth out of it. And that they delivers a clean cut because who wants, who wants to pay somebody to cut their grass and it looks like shit? Nobody. I think that this is a very good option. Um, hopefully we're gonna compare some other units, maybe. But this versus my X1 and his Super Z, I gotta say this is the better option. Now you are gonna pay more money for this unit, but you gotta pay to play. You, you gotta pay to play, <laughs> and it, it all depends on who you are and, and what you want. I mean, I just, I personally would prefer this unit over mine or over his. And I had, like I said earlier, I think I had a ZD1211. I mean, this thing would keep right up with the 1211. Obviously, this is gonna burn more fuel, which we're gonna get to when we get done today. We're gonna go to the gas station. Pete cut yesterday on a two full tanks for what, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes? Not even. This was completely full when we picked it up today we're going to go to the gas station we're going to see how much each mower takes and you know granted in this thing's defense i was cutting way heavier grass than what he's been cutting 
So it's going to be, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty curious to see which is going to take more fuel because with this red equipped, it's supposed to save a lot of fuel, which in turn saves a lot of money, which okay, it plays into the fact that you're going to pay a little more money for this. Well, it's going to save you money in fuel. We'll see. Good. Something that I forgot to go over with. It is back into the comfortability aspect. This thing, you can literally sit in the seat and run it with one hand and text on the other. You cannot do that on a hustler. You're, it's not going to, comfortability and responsiveness, it's not going to, you're not going to be able to, to do what you want to do with this thing. I feel like I can really just sit back and, and operate it without having to lean up, which saves your back. I have a bad back because I'm a brick mason 24-7 or full time anyway. Um, and this thing just is really prevailing today. is all X mark. Up until now, this is hustle. And I believe that the hustler is double pass. Let's go verify. X mark was single pass. So we're loaded back up. Just cut one of the nicer yards. Thought that Pete double cut with the hustler, but he didn't. Didn't do it. So what did what did Pete have to think about on the nice yard, like? variation here um i thought the hustler did pretty good um i didn't really see any problems with it this time but it seemed like it was a little shorter than it usually is but the x mark cut i would say the thicker side of it and it seemed like it did a fair equal to fair job i mean i don't i didn't see much i don't know i can't decipher whether or not either one cut better on that yard speed wise Myself, i didn't speed wise what are we thinking i don't know i mean the deck size is what what the real variable is here right i mean there we've raced them at the last yard it was almost the same the x mark had it by i'd say a mile an hour maybe one mile an hour right faster. right it wasn't like drastic but i don't know it's just it's, it's a lot of similarities but it's some differences I guess only time would tell and i would like to see an x-park with you know 250 hours like my hustler has do the same thing compare you know? yeah because we're talking about a 1400 yeah. hour mower i mean I'm, a, no, I'm not saying end of life but like getting up to the point of replacement where most guys would get a new one or trade it in so it's hard to hard to say if it'd do better completely all around at you know new you know right we don't have that option to compare I don't know. We'll see. We got, we got one more. So I'm saying that the Hustler still just does not have the speed that the X Mark does, like blowing through the grass. The X Mark just, the speed's there. It never slows down. It's, you push the bars farther forward, it idles up in eco mode and it blows through the grass, cuts clean, broadcast spread. Just doesn't get much better if you ask me. Where are you at on gas? I I am half tank on fuel, according to the X Mark. And something else I wanted to go over earlier that I missed is the fact that the X Mark doesn't have dual tanks. It's a it's a single tank. I'm sure if you know what you're looking at, most people know that it's a single tank that is dead center under the seat. Which some guys are going to say, oh well, if you got a five gallons in one tank and none in the other, it's going to throw your balance off. Yeah, maybe a little bit, but. Like at the end of the day, is that really what's making these mowers different from each other? Probably not. 
maybe in a small sense, but well, let's let's look at the fact that a tank under the seat with fuel in it would give it a lower center of gravity, which would probably be more stable on hills. Would you not think? I mean, if you were cutting Definitely. serious hills, I would think the tank under the seat with all the fuel in Definitely it versus more stability. having one tank on the one side of a you know the hustler filled and the other one's empty, and then you're on the same hill. I don't know. I feel like you might have an advantage with the with the tank under the definitely, seat. Definitely, definitely the XMR would have an advantage on that aspect yeah. of things. But we don't cut a lot of stuff with hills around here. Yeah. <laughs> Except for me. I cut I cut a few steep ditches, but ditches. We're not, not hills. We're yeah, not cutting not mountains. Hills, ditches. We're not Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah. I do think I I want to see an X mark with wheels, but probably not gonna get to do that option. So we're heading to one more. We'll see how it does. And then and fuel. Then, and then we'll figure out. Then fuel. <laughs> so We'll check back in before we leave the next yard and then we'll fuel station it is. That X mark burned the hustler's ass on this one. This is X mark. That's hustler. This right here, throughout here was just as thick as this. That's a 66 inch deck with a 1000 cc motor. This is a 72 inch deck with a 1000 cc motor. Time wise, normally he's done in weed eating. We finished at the same exact time when I cut with my X1. Now, my X1 does have a smaller motor, so you know, this thing's obviously blowing way faster through this grass than my smaller motor X1 with the same size deck wheel. So, something to keep into consideration, but. That's a slick four gallon. Three, six, nine, six, four. I do like how you don't have to get off the mower and swap fucking whatever the hell. In addition to how we like the tank is under the seat with a low center of gravity. One fill spout versus two, saving you time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Other tank. Put any in the other one? You need a back truck up? It ain't gonna take much. What's up, dude? It ain't even moved. Alright, so we're going with an extra gallon. An well, extra, extra gallon. 1 .3. Extra gallon in that versus that. A gallon. So this is post fill up. I cut way heavier grass on the X mark than Pete cut with the Hostler for about the first hour of cutting. And it took over a gallon less fuel than the Hostler. So I'm gonna say that the Red Equip is- Must do something. Must do something, yeah. Definitely must do something. And, and for that thing to burn less fuel and literally go through grass faster than that hustler does with the same power motor spread it so nicely versus the hustler i think that we understand that the x mark is has got to be but we're also talking let's look at the price difference i mean we don't even know for certain how much that mower is we're going to ballpark it in the neighborhood of 
18 to 20,000. Right, definitely. And the Hustler right now is probably about 14.5. Right, so you're that. talking five grand more. Yeah, it's it, safe to say five grand more. So, so is you're looking at the value difference. Is that five grand worth it to you to have to have to, to for what? Now that's the for million dollar the, question. For the is little, it worth for it? The, for the little bit better cut? Be a little bit better. Significantly better cut. Well, that's up in the air. That's Significantly it. better cut. Speed. Speed fuel economy. A mile an hour faster. And it cuts faster. It definitely cuts faster than the Hustler. It's in grass, it could probably cut faster. It, yes. So definitely. you're getting. I don't you're know. saving time. You're, you're saving fuel. You're and not saving five grand. You're, you're, not, you're definitely <laughs> not saving five grand. If you're going to go buy one of these units, you, it, you're going to pay up for it. Like, you're going to pay up, but there are small things. Does it matter enough to you? Hey, I'm going to save a, a gallon of fuel every, what have we been cutting for? We'll say we've been on our mowers for three hours, probably just barely under that. I'm going to save a gallon of fuel every three hours. That's probably two gallons a day if you're going to cut for six hours. What does that add up to at the end of your season? You know, that's the million dollar question. And then, you know, are you that concerned about it not leaving shit sticking up? Like I bush hogged basically for the first hour today. Well, and we can also, and we can also say that like, if you had a, a crew of these, if you're saving, let's say what? Nine gallons a day. Nine gallons a day. Between four mowers. Between four mowers. And you multiply that by five or six days a week. You know, that's nine times five. It's. You know, you're right, but then there. you're multiplying. You're getting up there into like, like saving two hundred, two hundred dollars a week. But then least. you're multiplying that five grand for the mower times <laughs> that many mowers, if that's what you're, what you're doing. So yeah, I don't know. I gotta say that the the X Mark over the Hustler is the better decision if you have the money to spend on it at the end of the day. And let's just say that the the Super Z, which is the only one better than that that Hustler makes, and it really the deck is the same. The motor, you get the EFI Kawasaki. Which is, probably does make a difference. Which probably saves a little bit on fuel. And yes. it probably runs better. Yes. And it goes, it probably is faster altogether than the than the x -Mark. It probably does, it should do 16, 17. 17 mile an hour. It's probably a mile an hour faster than the x -Mark. <coughs> So, and that's probably 18 gram. I just priced one, it's like 18.5. So that's in the ballpark of that. You, I think the deck's better on the x -Mark. So if you're going to spend the 18 grand on the Hustler, you might as well just pony up and buy the X-Mark. That's, that's kind of where I'm at with that. That's where I'm at too. I'd, I'd go X-Mark, so. I guess, I guess we've we've kind of covered as much as we as we humanly can um, for what we do. Like I said, I don't, I'm not a diehard. I don't cut grass every single day, all day long. I cut grass as a hobby and to make a little bit extra money and to help my friends out when they need it, so. If I had the money to spend, I'd go buy an X Mark out of these mowers. X Mark over Hustler. I'm going X Mark. What else is out there? What else may be better? What else may be worse? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll see. <laughs>